Hi, this is Jeff from BayesTheorem-QED.com. This is a part two of the marginal probabilities that I computed for the uh, six-node uh, Bayesian belief network. What I have highlighted in yellow are the additions to uh, the part one. And what these are are the actual probabilities uh, of these uh, conditional probabilities. So for example, uh, we conducted an experiment and we collected our probabilities and our probability for A was 0.3 and uh, not A was uh, 0.7. And then our conditional probabilities uh, for C consisted of uh, probability of a B being, a probability of C given B was 0.45 this is the probability of C given not B, 0.55. And so the marginal probability of C is 0 0.502, and this is what we're computing. For B given A, the probability of B given A is 0.2, and then the probability of B given not A is 0.6, and the marginal probability for B was 0.48. For C, the Conditional probability of C given B is 0.45, and then C given not B is 0.55. For D, the probability of D given BC is 0.2. The probability of D given not BC is 0.6, probability of D given B not C, 0.4, probability of B given not B not C is 0.8, and the marginal probability for D is 0.508. For E, the probability of E given D is 0.2, So this point two would be probability of E given D. Okay. And so the probability of E given not D is point three. So how do I compute, compute these marginal probabilities? I start with B, probability of B equals BA plus B not A, and that uh, using the chain rule, BA goes to B given A times A plus B given not A times not A. So B given A, B given A is 0.2, and A is 0.3. B given not A is 0.6, and B uh, in A uh, or not A is 0.7. So 0 0.2 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.06, 0 0.6 times 0 0.7, 0.42, add those together to get 0.48, and this is where the 0.48 comes in B. For the probability of C, marginal probability will be CBA plus CB not A plus C not BA plus C not B not A. And I just wrote these down consecutively here, so CBA would be represented right here, CB not A would be represented right here, C not B A represented here, C not B not A represented here. And then all, all I did was use the, uh, the probabilities that uh, have already been identified, so the probability of C given uh, B A, C given B A, uh, we're not using A because it stops at B. So what we can do, we can just go ahead and cross the, the A's out. And so the, since this is, this is a new, I'll just go ahead and mark it.
continuing. So probability of C given B, C given B is 0.45. Probability of B given A is 0.2. Then probability of A is 0.3. Multiply these together, get 0 0.027. Again, probability of C given B is the same, 0.45. Probability of B given not A, B given not A would be 0.6. And probability not A would be 0.7. Multiply these together, you get 0.189. Probability of C given not B is 0.55. C given not B, 0.55. Probability of not B given A, not B given A, 0 0.8. 0 0.8. Then probability of A is 0.3. Multiply these together, you get 0.132. And lastly, probability of C given not B is 0.55. So C given not B, 0.55 times probability of not B given probability of not A. So not, not B, not A, B 0.4. And then probability of not A, 0.7. Multiply these together, you get 0.154. You add these up, and you get 0.502. And that's where I put in right here, 0.502, for the marginal probability for C. Marginal probability for D. D equals uh, DCB, this loop right here, plus DC not B, plus D not CB, plus D not C not B. Use the same thing, D given CB. And we went down here to get that, and that's 0.2 times C given B, C given B is 0.45 times the probability of B, 0.48, which we have already computed. Multiply these together, you get 0 0.0432. Probability of D given C not B, so D given C not B would be 0.6 right here. Then probability of C given not B, C given not B, 0.55. Then the probability of B, not B, I'm sorry, not B, is uh, point, 1 minus 0.48 is 0.452. So this is where the point A comes from. We'll apply these together to get 0.1716. Third one, probably a D given not C, B. D given not C, B, 0.4 goes here. Probability is C, uh, not C given B. So not C given B, 0.55, and then probability of B, 0.48. Multiply these together, get 0 0.1056. Then lastly, probability of D given not C, not B. So D given not C, not B, 0.8, times not C given not B, not C given not B, 0.45, and then not B, B, 1 minus 0.48. Multiply we'll these together, you get 0.1872. You add these up, and you get 0 0.508. And this is where I put in 0 0.508 at, for D. For E, probability E equals ED plus E not D. Chain rule, uh, ED goes to E given D times D plus E given not D times not D. So probably E given D, E given D is 0.2, and probably the D is 0.508, plus probably E given not D, E given not D is 0.3, times probably the not D, 1 minus 0 0.508, 0 0.492. Multiply 0 0.2 times 0 0.508, you get 0 0.1016. Multiply 0 0.3 times 0 0.492, you get 0.1476, add these together, you get 0.249 for E, and that's where I put in 0.249. Lastly, probability of F, I just took it over here. Uh, probability of F equals uh, probability of FD plus probability of F not D. Uh, chain rule breaks this down, probability of F given D times probability of D plus probability of F given not D times probability of not D. Probability of uh, F given D is 0.35, so F given D 0.35 times probability of D is 0.508. We've already computed that, plus 
probability of f given not d is 0.4, f given not d is 0.4, and then the probability of not d is 1 minus 0 0.508, is equal to 0.492. Multiply 0.35 times 0.508, you get 0.1778. Multiply 0.4 times 0.492, you get 0.1968. Add these together to get 0.375 for the marginal, prob marginal probability for f. Okay, so uh, during this session we have determined the marginal probabilities uh, for b, for nodes b, c, d, e, and f, and we determine the marginal probability uh, for a uh, at the beginning of the experiment. The next thing that I'll do is I'll compute joint probabilities of the combinations of A, B, C, D, E, and F. Thank you very much.